Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll discuss with one important topic, the building a bar program. In this video, we'll see, we'll see why it's important to have a BAP skill as functional consultant. This is the first video. Uh, the second video will discuss uh, uh, about the load, how you can understand the logic of the program thing with the debugging. My name is Rene Rodrigue. I'm SAP consultant. The topic we are going to cover today are what is ABAP debugging? important transaction code in ABAP debugging, breakpoint, debugging screen, watchpoint, changing vari variable value, real-time debugging. We see how to debug pop-up screen, how to debug enhancement, and how to debug an error message. Of course, we'll start with some theory. What is ABAP debugging? Debugging is when you stop a program or transaction at certain point, so you can walk step by step through the above programming to see when an error occurs. But at functional consultant, you need basic above skill to be able to do this. Most good functional consultants will have basic debugging skill, and it is very very important because it reduces the excessive independence to above steam. Exactly because you you, you can uh, when you have a, a bug when you have error message. You can find you can find the root cause of this error yourself. You don't need uh, to ask your ABAP to come and help you to find this. When you have uh, some ABAP skill, it's very very important. Most of the time, part of our workload is to resolve error that occurred during the execution of, at, of certain transaction. However, if this error message cannot be resolved by setting up the master data or transactional data, meaning error message without any meaning. That means that you don't know if this is if this error come from um, lack of the configuration. If uh, you don't maintain some uh, uh, master data, you need to access the program in the big mode by typing slash h in the transaction bar and then execute, executing the transaction, which will allow us to analyze the program and see where the problem lies and do save time. Now, the second part is the important transaction code in ABAB debugging. Here we have two important transaction codes, SE38 for ABAB editor and SE37. SE38 is transaction code that allow you to display chain create ABAB program. Uh, let me uh, show you in this transaction in my system. Go to SE38, enter. Let me put my my program, my custom program I created before for this uh, training purpose it to display. You can see here you have uh, more option here. And go back. The second transition code is SE37. It's, it's a transition code that allows you to display chain function module. Function module are a set of code that can be reused by other programs and function module can be executed independently. Let's take an example. Function module SD root determination this is for SD module. If you are uh, you have some knowledge in in SD area, this thing with this function module that is how SAP determine uh, the the root. This function module is used for the logic of the root determination. Now let's open this function module. It will help you SE thirty seven transaction code. Go to my system. Go to SE. SE37 for function module, you can see here and you can display. Here you have a source of source code, you have an exception, that means that this is the error message. If you the system not found the root, you say, you say that no root found. This is uh, the table, you say call, you call for this, uh, this, uh, this program, it is import and export. This uh, transaction code is very, very important for function management. Even you can know, you should know how to debug it. Breakpoint. In above debugging, the notion of breakpoint is a very important notion because the breakpoint is used to interrupt the processing of the program and launch the debugging. When you are in the above editor, SE38, the two breakpoint icons are displayed at the top of the page. I will show you, I will show you this in a minute. Less session breakpoint and the right external breakpoint. 
To set a breakpoint in a bar program, simply select the line of executed code and click on, on, on one of the icon above. Now, let's discuss the meaning of session breakpoint and external breakpoint. Session breakpoint specifies the particular above user session. If the user session is ended lock of subsystem and, and all session breakpoint get deleted. External breakpoint, they are applied to the current user session as well as future user session. <clears throat> Let me show you this. Go to SE38 and display the program. I told you that you can see here we have uh, this is session breakpoint and this is uh, external breakpoint. How you can set uh, the breakpoint? Uh, the first thing you should know that you can set the breakpoint only in the executable line program, only in executable line program. Let me take example. If I take this is for the declaration of the data, if I click here, I try to set the uh, breakpoint. Uh, the, uh, you cannot say it in not take in this in this in this line. Let me remove this and then but if you are put in select line, I put my breakpoint here, you can notice that is really is take in this executable line because this is executable line. If I want to remove a breakpoint, I need to go to see here and breakpoint was deleted. Now let's continue. The other thing, the, the other thing to remember here that you can put a breakpoint almost anything. For example, you think your problem is with a specific above statement, like if select loop or function module or method. For that, you have to go to breakpoint creation menu. Let me show you. Uh, let me open this. Let me open this uh, uh, program in the book mode. I will show you how you can use a. Uh, can set a breakpoint with a bab statement. Put slash h to switch on a bab, execute the program. And then let me go to a breakpoint, breakpoint at a bab statement. We'll use in this above statement, we'll use a select. Let me try select. Select and click the green button. We can notice here, here breakpoint is set click to ex executable line, continue, and you can notice that you have uh, two saves. If you hit to continue again, it stop to another breakpoint. That's how we can use, you can use it. Why? Because important, an ABA program can contain a hundred or even thousand of a line of the code. So it's impossible to go through the program line by line to find the problem. It's therefore essential to master the use of breakpoint because if you think the problem is at certain level in your program, you can simply press your breakpoint, breakpoint at that level and stop. You stop processing the program at that level and run the debugging in the you stop and then it will show you the code. Let me uh, close this. And go back. Can continue. Now we'll discuss about debugging screen. It's very important to know uh, the functionality of debugging screen. Here in this document, uh, let me tell you something. If you have this document, you can go in my YouTube, in my in my uh, LinkedIn profile. You will have this document. It's free. I will release this today. To explain the debugging screen, I will use the transaction ME21N. You can use another transaction. The, the, the important is to open the program in debugging mode, and then you will try yourself to understand the debugging uh, screen. Type slash it in the transaction bar, then running the transaction. This will allow us to access the program in the book mode. You will probably see the screen below. This is my system. I don't know if you would see the same. Let us discuss this question by section. At the top of the debugging screen, here you can easily read the name of the program. Also see the event being process function method. You take the process forward step by step. You can use the icon script. You can use this uh, for uh, this for item icon script is F5, F6, F7, F8. Now let us discuss one by one. The F5 key allow you to execute the code line by line. That the thing with the F5, you not enter in the function module of the uh, of the method. You, you go line by line. 
you you enter sorry you enter if you reach where you have a function module you can uh, think with fi we can hit this uh, fi and enter in function module now the fck the, this icon allow you to execute the code line by line without going into the code portion called via module fun, uh, function module routine order program the f7 if you are inside of fun, module function function module or uh, method or perform it will take you out of that module and return to the main program that means that if you are inside in the function module or method thank you with f7 you can uh, uh, it, it take you out of that uh, that program. The FK allow to execute uh, uh, allow to the code to be executed in one go until the next breakpoint set. If any any other uh, wise, the debugging is switched off and the program is executed completely. Let me open uh, uh, my program with the breaking mode and then we can discuss. This is step by step. Uh, let me go to ME into one end. I will put some data here. And that one <coughs> slash it to switch on our debugging mode and um it's function. Now you can see here we have uh, the name of the program. This at the top, we can have we have this. This is the name of the, our program. Now we will try to discuss with this four icon script. This is F5. As I told you that thing with this, you can go, you can uh, you can go in the program step by step. That means that we cannot that we have this module. If I click uh, hit in this button, I will in, enter inside in, in, in this. Let me can notice that I'm already inside of in this in this mod, module. But if I click F7, it'll, I will uh, come out on, on this. Uh, this kind of thing that is, uh, I am already outside. I, I, I come back in the main program. But if I hit uh, F7, let's see what happened. You know, you can notice that uh, thing with F6, uh, <clears throat> F6, I not enter in the, in the uh, function module. I run the program step by step. But I know enter in the method of function module. But if I hit F8, that means that I will uh, execute my program. This is uh, this uh, uh, for icon C is very 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 useful. Now let's continue. Uh, uh, let's continue. And okay, we have a, a SIT structure. Structure fit and update through through good processing. You will see here two important six structures. SE uh, subar C is a sub above a system field and contains a return code of above statement. This value is used to determine the status of the execution of the above statement. Hmm. Important. If uh, subar C is zero, is equal to zero, the above statement has been executed successfully. If the value is different from zero, then the statement has read uh, an error or a warning uh, message. Uh, SE tab is to return the number of the current line in the processing loop. It tells you exactly if you are internet table, it tells you that okay, you are row number 100 to 200. Let me show this. Uh, this is uh, this two structure. It is very, very useful. Now let's continue to a watch point. What is watch point? Let me. Uh, uh, Go back to the beginning. Uh, go back. No. Okay. Now let's continue with <coughs> watch point. Watch point can be set on a variable you want to monitor to stop program execution when the content of that variable change. But only you need to ensure that the variable is declared globally in your program. What's even more interesting about watch point is that you can set them to fire or, or one specific condition and net, for example, you give your variable a fixed value instead of firing every time the variable change because your variable may change at several parts in the program. Most of the time, an internet table contains thousands of rows. And if you need to debug a particular row, for example, the item number which is in the 30, 30, uh, 300 row of an internet table, knowing that this internet table contains more than uh, 10,000 rows, 
In this case, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to develop an internet table row by row to read this particular row. In order to save time, it's sufficient to define a watch point for the particular value or a field or a variable, how to use a watch point. For this purpose, for this video, we'll take two examples, uh, no, two scenarios. Scenario one, in our custom program, we want to see the behavior of one particular variable. We will ask SAP to stop the program when it's reached this variable for achieve our goal, we'll use watch point. Let's see how. Uh, let's go to SE, uh, SE38. Let's enter in my custom program. Uh, let's and execute it. Let me open this in debug mode. Switch on uh, debugging and execute. And then uh, for this purpose, I will try to uh, to see uh, to the watch point of uh, internal table. Uh, create watch point uh, and we will see uh, this in, in the internet table. Let me uh, go to uh, uh, point, create watch point. Watch point is uh, I put this is internet table. I hit in this uh, you can notice that we have message watch point created. Also, you can come here. Go to watch point. You can notice here that we have uh, uh, this object, an internet table. This is uh, you can you can go back uh, this, this and then you can execute. You can notice we have this watch point reach at koo. That's why we can see a particular object. Even you can set it even it uh, work area. If you have a work area, you have we can see if it's this work area, a particular work area. But I I use uh, <coughs> I use this IT uh, number. If I play it here, you can notice that we already have three uh, three hundred and ninety seven entry. Now let's continue. You can also check yes. Check when, uh, scenario two. For example, there are three hundred. Uh, and 86 entry in the tenant table. Let's see how you can analyze the 37, the record, the number, uh, PO number, uh, this particular PO number. Let me copy this, your uh, number. We will use this in our demo. Go to SE38 and open your program in debugging mode. Exactly, close this, see, or oh, can use this work area. Let me show this directly in the system. Okay, uh, let me, uh, remove this break point uh, watch point okay go back and then we'll create another watch point for this for this we will put a particular value that we want to see and then we'll put uh, this work area with this uh, 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 po number the it field is for po number when i come here and then i put uh, this uh, i put this uh, your number okay and put it here <clears throat> you check what happened uh, can you get the error in the condition okay let me uh, put another another break another uh, okay yes i Yes, watch point created. You can go here, you can see uh, uh, watch point. Let me show you here. You can see here, we have a particular value. This uh, field is for PO number. Let me, let, let us execute. You can see here, it's execute this. Already have this. Uh, let me uh, continue. Let me execute again. So let me open again and switch. Back, latch it, execute, and let me uh, create a, a watch point again for particular value. Create watch point, so this work area, and put this and here, and execute. 
can execute this. You can have if I let me check here if we have no and no. Let me check again. Latch H execute and execute here. You can go to here and let me create back background. Do you know what happened? Let's <coughs> Let me try this to remember. Okay, and execute this. If I hit here, we have this particular. Let me remove this and go there. And continue. Let me try this. No. Again, let me try this. Of oh, right, we have our PO number here. This is very, very, very useful. This is a very, very important. Now let's continue. And uh, let me continue to stop this. Changing variable value. What's important to change variable value in the in the BAP program? One of the important feature of the SAP debugging is the ability to change the value of variable on the fly. Sometimes when we debug for testing purpose, we need to change the value of variable in order to test several scenario or to see the behavior of the program. And even during troubleshooting, changing the value of particular variable can help solve the problem. However, it's important to ensure that you have permission to do so. Otherwise, the system will not allow you to change a field. You should therefore contact the ACP security team to obtain the necessary permission. Uh, let's see how we can change the value. For the testing purpose, we will we'll change the PO number, uh, this and this. Let me, uh, and to see the behavior of the program, let me try uh, with this. I will show just how we can change the value. Uh, let me uh, you know, let's go in the program. Oh, if you can notice here, we have this uh, this uh, this PO number. Let's see how we can change. If we have authorization to do that, let me. Uh, okay, we can see here we have this this button. If I hit this, you can notice that the system allow me to change. Let me try to change this your number. I will click another. You can hit, I hit enter. Everything is okay. That means that I have authorization to do that. This is very, very important. And we can fix some error. And then you can see the behavior of the particular PO number. If you have a problem with the particular PO number, you can use this to see the behavior of the program. Uh, let's continue. We will start real time debugging. Uh, debugging how to debug pop up screen. In SAP, you encounter pop up screen every day, but therefore, as a scenario where a pop up screen needs to be debugged to find the exact cause of the error. One of the most important difficulties is that command line debugging is not possible in pop up, pop -up screen up here because you cannot edit sledge edge. What you need to, to do is save the line to the code below the text file and your laptop desktop. You can see here, let me show this. You can see here, I already, can, you need to have this in your, in your desktop. You can use this, uh, you can use this directly. And then when it's the time to debug, just drag and drop the text file you save on your desktop or laptop onto the pop-up screen. Let's take an example. During a transaction, we get this pop-up screen here below. Our task now is to find out exactly which line of the above code contains this error by the booking. We have this pop-up screen. It is uh, uh, it tell you the company code in your phone. Just drag or uh, uh, drop the text file in your save, your save on your desktop on laptop onto the pop-up screen. You can see here, I will show you this uh, screen. You will get this message, the booking switch on. On click on the bot, uh, green button, you can click it here. 
the program will stop exactly at the point where this error occurs, and then it will show you the code. You can here we have uh, this error in this in this line. Debugging of enhancement. Before we talk about debugging enhancement, let's see first what is enhancement and what is the purpose of enhancement. Enhancement enable customer or client to add custom business functionality to substandard software without changing at all its ACP standard functionality, which is supposed to be in change. As you know, that we cannot is not ACP. Uh, we cannot change the, the the standard program. But to better manage the enhancement is the program, and also to be sure not to change the standard functionality of the ACP, the best thing to do is to copy the standard program and make the enhancement you want. Now, let's see how we can debug enhancement. Two things you should keep in your mind before starting debugging enhancement. Icon name and the FK button, remember. The FK allow to execute the code line by line. You need to identify this icon snake and also use the F key because when you are uh, when you are you cannot use the F6 because the F6 you can go line by line but you only enter in the subroutine or function module. You cannot use F7 because you, uh, F7 is useful when you want to come back in the main program. And the only uh, icon icon you can use uh, is the F FI because the thing the FI you enter in the enhancement. Go to FE to open your program in the break mode. You, you need to identify your snail. You already I put this here. And thank you. Thank uh, thank uh, with the F five key you can start the your enhancement step by step. You can go inside you in this enhancement. Debugging an error message. message. As I explained earlier, in some cases, such error messages are not useful, which means that you don't know what caused the error. In such situation, we have no choice. The only, met uh, only method of debugging is debugging. Let's see how to debug error message. Let me show you this directly in the system. Uh, let me uh, execute this. And go back, go back, go back, go back. Let me go to VA01 to create to uh, let me change this and maybe I put this. I click to I hit to continue. I notice I have, I have this error message. You have thank you. This message you know, you'll see exactly where this error is located in the in the above program. For this uh, uh, switch on above uh, the uh, uh, the book mode and put here click to enter uh, go to big point break point uh, big point at at uh, message and then you need to put uh, the number our uh, is id is cz uh, cz and number is five and hit the discrete button you can notice a break point instead click to f8 to execute the program you can notice yeah, the is our message here you can notice, let me uh, open another, I will show you this exactly, uh, FI01, and enter, you can notice, let me show you this, you can notice a message CZ115, uh, uh, cell area does not exist. Of course, uh, as functional controller, you understand the problem here, but I want just to show you for, for the demo. But most of the time, you use this when you do not understand the meaning of the uh, the message. When you not have an uh, idea that I uh, don't know where this uh, uh, the meaning of this error, and then we can use this. This is very very easy because you know uh, you can I I put uh, the wrong uh, wrong uh, data because I want to show you this this. But the only thing is you need to remember to have this message. When you have uh, this message number, and then you can set it in the debugging. You can also here we have uh, is the message if the C basis is not equal to zero. We have uh, this message. Let's see if you, you cannot that does not exist. That means that our division does not exist. Uh, I think that we are uh, we are at the end in our video. 
this was the first part of the video. The second video we will use a, a debugging mode to understand the logic of the program. How we can use the debugging mode to use uh, to understand the purpose of the custom program. Because thanks to the debugging, you can easily go through the, the custom program to understand the logic of the, the program. Will you see this in the, the second video? Thank you very much and see you soon.